in concatenation operator. Now what I want to do from here is I like to say I am having this var1, var2 and var3. So in this I want to now remove I have this var3 from var3 I want to now see where this QTP is where exactly the location of the QTP is from var3 please remember from var3 I want to retrieve the QTP alone right if I want to retrieve QTP alone from var3 what I need to do so first is I need to know which position that QTP is retrieving the position of QTP from var3 very important string commands that you need to know right so it is called in string in string is the instr in string is the command which will give the location or which will give the position of the string that you are searching for position will be 0 if the string is not found very important now I will tell you how to use it where uh, what is the last where I have used where 7 plus where 8 ok where 7 so I have used now where 6 where 7 is done so where 8 equal to in string of in string of starting of the string 1 I want to start with 1 which is the string that you want to use where 3 is the string that I want to use what is the string that you want to retrieve I want to retrieve QTP so he searches from QTP the first the position that he returns is the first one now there is an optional compare I will talk about that little later now I will say ok close it because that is an optional parameter message box 8 var 8 so now I want to execute from the top till this 19 position I don't want to retrieve the below position I don't want to execute I want to from the top I want to execute up to message box so then place your cursor there right click run to step up to this you execute now I say run running so he starts from the beginning where 1 I am learning where 2 QTP through online where 3 concatenation where 1 plus where 2 message box this is done now I am trying to retrieve QTP from this message from this where 3 what is the location of QTP now print where 3 it is printed where 8 message box where 8 he is executing now message box where 8 why is not executing oh I am sorry still I will just like to execute that line so now it is executing as 15 so 15 is the position that message box is sorry QTP is so QTP is exactly on the 15th position I stop my run now so where 8 is giving me the location of exactly where the QTP is now I instead of QTP I use small letter QTP now what happens I execute again up to 19 I will execute run to step up to 19 I will execute ok so message box it is done I say ok print var 3 it is done var 8 it is done 
message box where it yes now you can see now it is zero because it is case sensitive so if i don't want this is called binary comparison or a string comparison so are we doing a binary comparison or are we doing a string comparison so that is what this is now i'll say here optional to compare as one now i execute i execute up to this step i am making now optional compare how do you want qtp to compare oh sorry i have made it as a from to step i stop it i now i want up to this i want him to execute run to step run to step i execute up to this i run this so usually it will be fast for the refresh reason i am keeping it as 2 seconds delay where 3 print that's okay now i made it as 1 you see now what is that message box is showing so one is now you made it as a string comparison not a binary comparison so one indicates even though it is a small qtp whether actually it was capital so by default it is zero zero means it is a binary comparison binary i'll check it with a ascii code if it is ascii say 65 i have to match it with ascii 65 otherwise now i made it as one that means he is now comparing even though this case is lower case he is able to compare another important component in the scripting side i say okay now i stop my run because we have want to run only up to that step so this is about comparison now